are welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I have another museum in Croatia for you. Now a lot of people come to places and they're like, are these museums for history? Are they for what? Croatia has an interesting museum, specifically in Zagreb, called the Museum of Hangovers. Because why not? I guess. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to tour the Museum of Hangovers. If you know this channel, we do a lot of drinking on No Pants Profits. So uh, I'll tell you, I had my first hangover in a while, about a week ago. Yeah, slightly less than a week ago. I had my first hangover in a very long time because I always like to eat after I drink. So, you know, we've got a hallway that's literally all about hangovers and I've never thought that you could have a museum of hangovers but uh I guess here it is it's right after five o'clock so it is five o'clock somewhere and usually this is when people start drinking it's five o'clock on a Friday but we are going to the museum of hangovers experience the first museum of hangovers in the world adult price eight euro hopefully I can have a beer here open and they have luggage storage funny real life stories woke up hungover on my neighbor's trampoline oh i've got one for you interactive never seen never seen interactions eight concept rooms let's go ahead and tour the museum of hangovers i'm gonna get my ticket for eight euros and then i'll take you along for the fun all right just the hallway getting in is too awesome not to share they have some really unique art that might be some of the stories yes this is the world's first museum of hangovers. They have a great tagline. It's an unforgettable place of forgettable happenings. Living exhibit, wait, living exhibit, oh, that's dark. It's a living exhibit of the museum of the hangovers. Look, there's a guy there. That's why it's there. Great, look at, look at all the, the cool art on the wall. That guy's about to blow chunks. That lady's talking on her phone. I mean, that's a pirate. Oh, wow. Yeah. If this is the entry hallway, I can't imagine the absurdity that waits inside the museum of hangovers. And hopefully, yes, I can have a beer. I can have a beer, it looks like. So. I'll get the ticket and continue on, but I just had to, had to bring you in. This guy's got the right idea. I'll always go for fast food after you drink. Prevents the hangover. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Well, there's a couple. Two liters left. Let's go to the museum of hangovers. See what's hanging on. All right, so we are in the museum of hangovers. Uh, they got some weird lights here. I've got my ticket, and guess what? I mean, come on. If I'm coming to the museum of hangovers, Let's ask a question. Am I not bringing a beer with me? Of course I am. So we go, it's, it's a concept that goes from the bar all the way to your hangover and you're never gonna drink again and everything like this. I've got a local, and she said it was an IPA. I didn't know they made IPAs outside of the US. Oh, it's their own beer. Well, shit me. Museum of Hangover says their own beer. Wait. I'm drinking the beer that's on the table. God. Mm. I've already created a problem in the first room. So here we go. Museum of Hangovers. Welcome to the unforgettable place of forgettable happenings. The concept of this museum is divided into phases of one night out. You start by drinking at the bar with your friends. Then you go exploring the city streets, hang out at the park. When you drink a few drinks, you'll get drunk. And if one too many, you experience a blackout. After a night of partying, you'll wake up in your room in the morning and experience a hangover, but in the end, you'll learn a thing or two and have a different kind of experience. Yes, yeah, so we've got, uh, what's the origin of the Museum of Hangovers? This bicycle pedal is a special museum object because it was an inspiration for the Museum of Hangovers. After having a blast at a beer fest, my friends and I went for one more drink. As we were talking about funny stuff, it was mostly drunk stories, my friend told us about how he recently woke up with a bike pedal in his pocket and couldn't remember what happened. Listening to this story, I thought it'd be fun to open a place with some sort of connection to those items people woke up hungover with and stories from drunken nights. And that's how the idea of the Museum of Hangovers came to be. As I was a student at the time, with the help of my student friends, we got together and in six months created the first and only Museum of Hangovers in 
the world. So we're gonna start at the bar. Translate or write a regular text message and translate it to a drunk message. Uh, oh, holy crap, you can send, these are real drunk text messages. Holy crap, no. That's a bad idea. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Someone sent a, someone sent a drunk text message. Uh, so this is telling all kinds of uh, different stories. This is kind of like the uh, Relationship Museum, which if you haven't checked out that video, checked it out. Translate the message into drinking language. Nope, nope. Translate. Hamlu. All right, so we're starting at the bar. You can hear the music at the bar. It's kind of weird, because hey look, I got a bottle that's full. That's the same as these bottles that are empty. Kind of an interesting concept. Hey look, you even have a dartboard. Handles that saved my life. This is from Croatia. It, it was my friend's 19th birthday. On the buffet table, I found these two wooden handles. I fooled around with them and put them in my back pockets. I held a drink in my hand and went to the toilet when I accidentally spilled my drink on some tall punker dude. He gave me crazy eyes and 10 minutes later, uh, I saw him approaching the table pulling out chains. Good thing was I saw him before he came to the table, took my handles out for self dispense. He spun the chains with the intention of hitting me in the head. Luckily the chains were not wrapped around my head, but around the handles. I held the handles until my friends jumped in to help me. Crazy night. Yeah, it is. And you'll see we've got all those empty bottles and one full bottle. We've got all the bar games right here, and we've got some kind of, oh, that's a webcam. Move the points around. To make your drunk face. Oh, we've got the periodic table of alcohol. We got cider, mixed beer, oh god, gin, whiskey. Where's, where's the crazy shit? Irish trash can, adios, motherfucker. Margarita, B&B, black magic, yeah. That's pretty cool. TLDR. Yeah, look, these are all like drunk stories. There's a leg. These are all from Zagreb still. During one night out, a friend and I found an exhibit doll leg. We decided to take it with us. Yep. We've got a life jacket, which came from somewhere. You even got to, uh, hey look, they have like beer pong all set up. There's no beer. Wow. I'm really bad at that. Let's try that again. Here we go. Come on. We could be here a while. That's just because I'm holding the camera with one hand. Oh, God damn. I'm really bad at this. This is why I always got way too drunk because I couldn't do it. Oh my God. Rich. Rich, you, you doing... You're doing terrible here, Rich. Let's try this again. It's not really a ping pong ball. I think that's the problem. This is too heavy to be a ping pong ball. Oh my God. I got way over regulation length and I still missed it. I'm really bad at this. Thank God, finally, okay. Now I can move on, it only took four. So we're out the bar, we're partnering. Then we're going through the curtain to the streets. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow, this is literally like, oh look, there's the Museum of Hangovers. There's the actual sign. I'm surprised why that wasn't outside. <laughs> Maybe a drunk person smashed it down. I gotta ask the question of the sign. There's also a giant zebra. This is literally like uh, the Hangover Museum. These are all from Zagreb? It's a traffic light that someone brought home. It says, hey, zebra. Is the zebra relevant? Uh, kids' playground, stole a pink hippo, jumped on a tram, pink hippo. Yeah. Press start. All right. Press to start, sorry. Pick your drunk pose and intimidate it as best as possible. 
Okay, I gotta actually press to start. <laughs> oh wow, it's actually judging my accuracy on that pose. Oh, there we go. I got to like 75% accuracy. <laughs> it should be, it says don't stop the madness. It should be don't stop believing. There's a lot of uh, very interesting uh, stories. So we went from the streets to, we're continuing on. Where are we now? Oh look, this is like that mattress from the actual Hangover movie. Waking up in an elderly home? Hold up. Netherlands. It's the first day of college, and the guy got so drunk he didn't recognize his mom's voice when she called him. She needed to read her ID for him to believe it was actually her while on the phone. Uh, while on the phone uh, with her, he went out to the bar he was in, but he got lost on his way back, wandering around trying to find the bar. His phone died. So in one moment, he sees a mattress on the sidewalk, picks it up, sleeps on it, sleeps on it in the balcony of an elderly home. The next morning, the cops woke him up. Yeah. Yeah. He hashed you and me. I don't get that joke. Hashed you and me. And he, oh, this is from Zagreb. After having fun at a music festival, you and me stand, we let her use the chair around town to wait for the tram. I thought they used it on the tram. Helmet is needed to survive the night. There's a helmet there. Garbage can. Champagne cork. For some reason, there's a giant bathtub here. And it's out of order. I guess you could take your picture in the bathtub. That's uh, my assumption. We're moving on. All right, this is a Draw Museum of Hangovers logo wearing drunk glasses. See the drunk glasses. This is a, uh... oh God. Oh, this is supposed to be a, uh... oh yeah, let's take a look. This is like a, supposed to be like a drunk walk simulator. That would be my assumption. That's a uh, drunk walking simulator. Oh, here's the drunk glasses. Drunk room behind you with the drunk floor and a mirror. After using it, put them back here. All right. I gotta take my hat off. Okay. We got some drunk glasses. Oh, good God. I can't see anything. Oh, God. Why? I've never worn drunk goggles before, like, oh, good God. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad idea. Mm. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I've not been that drunk before. I don't know. No, <laughs> this is, oh, look, and you can write something with the drunk goggles. Oh my God, if you don't know what these feel like. I'm using my wrong hand. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't write with my right hand. Let me see if I can switch hands here. All right, I got a beer, I got a camera, I got a pen. I don't want to put all over everything. Drunk goggles are no good. All right. Um, let's just do a 3.141. Uh, I'm so confused. Drunk goggles. I think I have to take these off. This is, this is a, it's a pretty crazy experience right here. You take off the goggles. Oh. 
yeah, they work. But yeah, huh? being on that, being on that platform is really weird, especially when everything's reflecting around you. Um, so yeah, that was a. I tried to write pie in my first name there. Uh, the weirdest cocktail in the world must be the sour toe cocktail because the drink features a 40% alcoholic drink with an amputated toe. Uh, the cocktail was invented in Dawson, Canada. There's a long tradition of drinking. It's an interesting drink. It invites people to donate amputated toes for the cocktail. Oh, God. Uh, and if you accidentally swallow a toe, you'll get fined $2,500. Sour cocktail, drink it fast, drink it slow, but your lips have got to touch the toe. Yeah? The gods of alcohol. Let's see what we got. A Greek got alcohol. A Roman got alcohol. South African got alcohol. Sumerian goddess of alcohol. Baltic god and goddess. Got a Nordic god. Chinese god. African goddess. Celtic god. Greek god. Drinking may cause memory loss. Or worse, memory loss. Uh oh. She told us me there was one pitch black room where things are written on the walls. Oof. So we gotta, and what it was, is she said you can either use your phone's light or you can wrench you out one of these little black lights. So by wrench you out, I mean, I just had to give her a photo ID to turn on one of these little black lights so we can read stuff. What's a black light? This is supposed to be the blackout room. 20th century, doctors routinely prescribed Alcoholic drinks as treatment for diseases. I don't think there's enough light in this room for this camera to focus. But yeah, I got a little black light. 13th century. It was customary in the 13th century to baptize children with beer. 18th century. According to this law, beer may contain only barley, malt, water, and hops. The law is still in force today, but with slightly modified ingredients. Yeast has been added. Hmm. This is the blackout room. 12th century, when it comes to choosing a religion, it's important to keep your priorities straight. Prince Vladimir of Kiev just did that when he selected Christianity as the state religion, partially because it didn't ban booze. That's a long one. But yeah, there's a blackout hallway. We can read about the 11th century. Some brewery was founded in Germany. Monks, and is the oldest continuously functioning brewery in the world. Oh, I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to go to that German monk beer. Let's see if there's another fact here. Doctors prescribed. Long fact. Short fact. Here's a short fact. Distillation got even better. Uh, so they could make higher percentages of alcohol in the following centuries. Gin, rum, and cognac, whiskey, and tequila were born. All right. We finished our blackout, I think. Oh, good God. This is the hangover room. Yes. And, uh, yeah. There's a lot of bottles of this beer, which is a pretty good beer. I'm just not sipping it down fast enough because I'm talking to all y'all. Mm. Shout out to my man, Eric Bird. It's a drinking video. Fuck average, be legendary. And for some reason, the Virgin Mary is here as is the drunk person right there. But I think we have more. We have another blackout room? Wait, hold up. I didn't expect a second blackout room. I gotta get my flashlight. Greeks. 1400 reads, Six, 6,100 years ago, evidence shows the first winery opened in Armenia? Ooh, cave paintings. Cave paintings. They're throwing up. Ooh, hold on. I didn't know there was actually cool stuff to find on the wall. Come on. Oh, more cave paintings. Oh, that's cool. Well, shit, that makes me want to go back to the last room. Oh, which I did. Come on, give me more cave paintings. More cave paintings. More cave paintings. Ah, oh, there's a cave painting. Ooh, that's the, that's the drinking god. Cave painting, oh, they, they show up after nowhere, out of nowhere. More cave paintings. 
Oh, and there's one here we missed. That's the beer pong one. Me doing terrible at beer pong. Why would they put stairs in this museum? I don't know about that. All right. I think, I think we done finished it. <laughs> it's the museum closest to your liver. Oh no. A oh, museum continues here, sorry. <laughs> it's a little confusing. Russians don't consider beer, an, didn't consider beer an alcoholic drink until 2011. Anything containing less than 10% alcohol was previously considered a soft drink. Oh, I love Russians. This is the uh, hang what happened bedroom. Oh, it's like a black and white bedroom. That's really cool, actually. My experience with the Museum of the Hangovers. Hey, look, somebody drew a penis. And some sheep. And there's a marker on the wall. So this is just one giant erase board. One giant dry erase board. Oh, that was some blackout. Where, what were you thinking? You realize you were in a room at home, but no, everything is spinning. You're dehydrated. <laughs> Here come the consequences of drinking too much. A hangover. Dress up for the party. Oh no, there's a party. Something says I have to dress up for the party. So, I shall follow the rules. I shall take my hat off. I shall put my hat back on. Look, some of you are like, what does he mean by dress up for the party? I dressed up for the party. Because of course I dressed up for the party. That's the best part. I gotta stay dressed up for the party too. I don't know where the party is. Try, try a historical drunk sleeping over the rope and get hangover. Okay. Yeah, oh wow. These are all the ways that drunks hide alcohol. <coughs> Vote dry. We want beer. This is a prohibition thing. Yep, yeah. beer's from prohibition. I don't know why I'm dressed up for the party. I don't know that there is a party. Uh, it says, beware of sadness. Oh, alcohol is all. Alcohol abuse is linked to depression and it causes birth defects and can impair brain function permanently. 3.5% of cancer deaths worldwide are attributed to the consumption of alcohol. One in 20 deaths is caused by harmful use of alcohol. Nearly 1.25 million people die in road crashes each year, so don't drink and drive. Alcohol kills one person every 10 seconds worldwide. Remember, drink moderately and responsibly. Yeah, they were right. Beware of sadness. We don't talk about things like that. Mirror, mirror, who on the wall? Who's the biggest drinker of all? Who's still dressed for the party? I'm still dressed for the party. There's a back here. This is just a window. Oh, <laughs> that's a hot water heater over people. How much alcohol can you drink on a weekly basis? Ooh. Oh. Clear. How accurate was your answer? Huh. Okay. How much alcohol do you... Okay, so I really like beer. Three liters a week. Wait, really? All right, three. Three point two five liters a week, and uh, I guess it says I've got a healthy liver. Yeah, I think it's wrong, but. I'm still dressed for the party! Yes, I'm dressed for the party! Look, I don't know why I'm still wearing the party outfit. That doesn't really make sense to me. 
I mean, since I'm dressed for the party, I might as well put on the drunk glasses too. Because, yeah. So you put on the drunk glasses, put on the hat, try and grab your damn beer. Mm. I'm dressed for the party. Oh, God. Yeah. This is me walking in drunk glasses through a drunk museum. Um, guys, this is a bad idea. Oh, God. I keep hitting walls. Fortunately, the room is mostly wide open. Um, but, yeah. This is a really bad idea. Look, I see the other clothes for the party. Uh, I can't even tell where this opening is. These drunk glasses are really messing me up. See, they, there's, a, there's a rope here so you can feel hung over. Dude, these drunk glasses are insane. I don't understand how they uh, function like keep up under the walls. We shouldn't be walking around with this. I'm just talking to myself. Uh, I can't see anything that's going on. I don't know how he's driving. I can't walk around in these. He's trying. He's crashing the car. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did I think this was a good idea? Mm. Okay, let's see if I can be a functional adult. Okay, I'm going to put this beer down against the wall. We're going to go back this way. Oh and we're going to we're going to try and return my my cool outfit. Okay. <laughs> glasses are ridiculous. All right. So, I'm not going to try and take my glasses off. Ah. Uh, I do it with the glasses on. Oh. Ah. I gotta take the glasses off for a second to take my party wear. Hang it back up. But we gotta wait because they only have a single drunk driving simulator. And I can I can hardly drunk walk. I can't see if I can remember where I bought my beer. Oh god. This is very accurate. God, I keep running into walls. Oh, oh, I got my beer. That's appropriate. Oh, look. Let's go to the drunk driving simulator. I can't even sit in the damn seat. <laughs> oh. oh. I literally can't even sit in the damn seat. All right. Maybe it's because it's not made for a fat guy. We'll go with that. Oh, oh, I'm sitting on some glasses. I threw them out of the way. All right. Um, don't drink and drive, but if you do, I guess you should do it on a simulator. I don't even know if you can see me or not. Um, there's a simulator. Oh, okay. All right. I gotta take these glasses off for a second. I have no idea where the pedals are. Oh, they're way up there. All right. I don't know if you were looking at me or you're looking at the floor. Okay, here we go. I'm so confused. I'm like gone. I can barely see. Plus this car is like manual instead of automatic. I'm trying. Nothing's working. I mean, it spins and all that, but I, maybe I just don't know how to drive stick shift. We'll go with that. I can barely look. I can't even make the car move. Let me take off the glasses and see if I can figure it out any better. Okay, let's see, hold on. Maybe it's just, oh, I'm like stuck at a barrier. This is a PlayStation driving wheel. I guess I haven't looked so overly at this. 
I don't know how I, uh, oh God, I got first and second gear. There's literally a PlayStation driving wheel and a gaming computer right there. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Now Richie's gotta find a way out of this seat. I'll take my drunk goggles. I'm not gonna die. Get out of the seat, okay. There we go. Oh. Them drunk goggles. Oh, we didn't do it. We need the drunk goggles back one more time. Because you know what the drunk goggles were there for? They were really there for walking the line. Field sobriety test. All right. Here we go. We're gonna do a field sobriety test. I'm gonna put this down right here. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit so you can see me walk on the line. All right. All right, here we go. Bad idea. The glasses were upside down. Right. I'd say those drunk glasses are pretty accurate. I can tell when the camera is. It's funnier. If I have a drink here. Yeah, no. No. I can't do that. For shit. I mean, it's easy when you're sober. Maybe. I have been drinking a half liter of beer as I've been doing this little tour here. I think I'm done with these drunk goggles because they're ridiculous. Oh, they're absolutely ridiculous. Alcohol might not solve your problems, but neither will water or milk. True words have never been said. <laughs> Tobacco causes cancer. Alcohol causes dancer. The Museum of the Hangover. It's ridiculous. And it's so ridiculous that they have their own beer. I guess I'm in the bedroom now. Waking up with a hangover. This is Richard from No Pants Profits. Coming to you from the Museum of the Hangover. Come try it yourself. Oh, look. Check us out on Instagram. Okay, look. I can see what things look like blurred. Because someone busted this compute tablet or something. I don't know. Let's see, it's focused and it's blurred. There's a lot of stuff for you to see here. Uh, I think this is very fitting for my channel. Uh, I'm gonna put some shorts and some different stuff online as well. This is Richard from No Pants Profits. About to put on my party suit, party goggles, jump out of bed. Grab my magic black light and tell you that when you drink liters of beer and you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is your shirt. Love y'all and cheers from the museum of the hangover in Zagreb, Croatia. Bye!